All space science missions increase our understanding of the universe, but some become legendary because of their scientific discoveries and because of the huge challenges they overcome. Ulysses, the joint ESA-NASA probe, is such an adventurer after more than 17 years observing our sun and its environment. The relatively small 370-kilogram spacecraft carrying 10 science instruments was lofted by the shuttle Discovery in October 1990, the first stage of a long journey where no other space probe had ventured and none has gone since. Fifteen months after launch, Ulysses used Jupiter as a springboard to leave the ecliptic plane and to swoop back below the Sun to observe its South Pole in 1994 and then its North Pole a year later. Ulysses has steadily been returning information, for instance on how the Sun's magnetic polarity changes. Ulysses has also studied the heliosphere in its own surroundings of interstellar space, how its shape changes, expanding and contracting over time. Another first has been the unequivocal detection and analysis of interstellar dust particles. Ulysses was designed to last five years, but still returning valuable data, the mission was extended four times, allowing the probe to loop around the sun, passing over its poles for a second and third time. But to all good things must come an end. With power from its radioactive isotope generators steadily decreasing, it has become an immense challenge to keep Ulysses warm enough to prevent its hydrazine fuel from freezing. Since 1999, energy-saving measures have been implemented, sharing the power between the science instruments. In a few weeks, the space probe will be switched off gracefully bowing out after more than 17 and a half years, left to silently orbit the Sun as an artificial comet. Moving moments for Richard Marsden, who has spent 30 years of his life with Ulysses.